Jesus Christ. Look, this is turgid, like properly turgid. I spent the last few weeks of people saying, no, oh, we're second in the league with this, that and the other, the championship's crap. I don't care. We are sinking like a stone. Our performances are getting worse and worse and worse. It was only going to be a matter of time before these nil-nils, these boring, turgid, lacklustre nil-nils were going to turn into a defeat. And it's happened today. I don't care about this nonsense that Millwall have had a good few runs or a good few wins or a little run or whatever. That was utter shite. We have had countless times to get that ball into the final third and have decent shots and we choose not to. We opt out of the option of having a shot. Every single time we go forward, somebody shits the kex and goes backwards or says, oh, Jesus, we need we need to make another 10 passes before we can have a shot on target because... That that's the aim of the game. It's like it, this is absolute horseshit. It is dross. I was willing to give Parker a chance when he started, and he was handed a shit deck of cards when he came. You know, we sold quite a lot of important players, but he's brought his own players in, and I sort of said, right, okay, give him a couple of weeks, and we'll see how he's performing, see if there's improvement right up there up until sort of November time. And look, here we are. We are no better off than the end of August. We are we are worse than we were at the end of August. Scott Parker is coaching the life out of these players. I have no idea what he is teaching them, but what I do know is he's killing all creativity from him, from these players. He's killing all risk-taking, he's killing all enjoyment and fun out of this team, and it's suffering. The football's turgid, the players don't look like they're enjoying themselves, like they genuinely don't look like they're enjoying themselves. Some of them do look like they're making an effort, but I'm not being funny. Quite a lot of them don't look like they're doing, making much of an effort in terms of going forward. Like They're just happy to pass the ball around and be tick-attacker and this, that and the other and listen to Scott Parker's dross. And, you know, he keeps coming out with weird comments about the best performances and this, that and the other, but it's just not working for me. He, he is not cut out. I'm sorry, I don't care. This is probably going to cause some backlash, but he is not cut out to be a manager. He is getting progressively worse as a coach. His coaching journey, he's getting worse and worse and worse. And we are feeling the brunt of it at the minute. And I'm really sorry, but he's got to go. Parker has to go. We need to bring somebody in now that can get this squad firing again up until Christmas and get us into that tra tra that transfer window and get rid of some of the crap that we've got in this squad. We've signed some honking players. Hutonji is not a footballer. He's won a competition to be in this squad. He's a disgrace of a football player. You know, there's some people out there on that pitch that they should be doing so much better with the skill and the talent they've got. It's just... All this stems from the manager. You know, in fact, all this stems from the board. They've employed the wrong man. I don't care. He might have gave a good presentation. He might have smelt nice in his Tom Ford aftershave and his lovely little bomber jacket. You know, he might have given a right good after-dinner chat with Alec. Like it, but it's not It's not washing on me anymore. I'm done with it. I'm, I'm really done. I genuinely won't watch another game under Scott, while Scott Parker's in this tenure because I'm wasting hours of my time watching shite i'm supposed to sp i spend my weeks like stressing about other stuff and you know getting worked up about work and this that and the other and you know sometimes weeks are hard and that you know and football's a release i expect football to sort of take me away from that and it doesn't it compiles it it adds to the shite and the stress that i'm going through week in week out so no until i'm done i'm I genuinely i'm done with scott parker i'm done with it it's boring it's turgid it ain't getting better and I, we haven't got time. We haven't got time to sort of sit and wait until it clicks. Like, it ain't going to click. It's not clicked yet. It's not going to click. I don't care what anyone says. It's not going to click. It's just it's just very frustrating. Like, and I'm, and I'm coming from this as like a place of fear. Like, if we don't get promoted this year, we are up shit creek. Like, I'm telling you now, we need to get out of this division. The finances that these people have invested... And the money they've spent and the play that we... It's too much. If we don't get out of this league, we are shafted. We are going to have to, again, do another fire sale next season. And we're going to have to bring in even less, worse quality players. So, I don't know what it's going to be. Summit's got to give. It's either our chances at Premier League football or Scott Parker's going to have to go.
that's the way it's going to have to be. It's Premier League or Parker. What's it going to be? Because you can't have both. 